I'm Dr. Frida. I'm a medical doctor who has been triple board certified and today we are going to talk about congestive heart failure, the warning signs and symptoms, the diagnosis and the treatment. So now, what are some of the warning signs and symptoms of congestive heart failure? And remember, symptoms are what you feel, signs are what you see. Some of the symptoms include shortness of breath, dyspnea on exertion, meaning you have a hard time breathing when you exert yourself. And if you get severe congestive heart failure or really chronic CHF, you can actually develop shortness of breath even with no activity. Other symptoms include fatigue, just generalized fatigue, being tired all the time. You can get nausea even, yes, nausea and vomiting can be symptoms of congestive heart failure. You can get a decreased appetite or early satiety, meaning you get full quicker when eating. Also, swelling. You can get swelling of the feet, swelling of the ankle, swelling of the legs, swelling of the abdomen. These can all be symptoms of congestive heart failure. Lightheadedness or dizziness can occur with congestive heart failure. And some of the signs that may be picked up by your doctor, jugular venous distension, when you get a bulging out or really enlarged vein that's apparent in the neck, JVD. Also, abnormal heart rhythms. Your doctor may listen to your heart and notice that you have an arrhythmia. Pitting edema is another sign your physician may find when he or she examines you. So this goes along with the swelling of the legs we talked about. During the exam, your doctor may take his or her finger and press against your leg where the swelling is. And then once your physician removes that finger, there may be an indentation or a pit left in the leg. This is pitting edema, which can be a sign of heart failure. Your doctor may also hear rails or crackles when they auscultate your lungs, when they listen to your lungs with a stethoscope. And this could be a sign of heart failure and a sign of fluid in the lungs or pulmonary edema, pulmonary congestion. And if you have pulmonary edema or pulmonary congestion as a result of congestive heart failure, you may notice that in addition to being short of breath, you have some wheezing or even coughing, and you may actually cough up some pink frothy phlegm or pink frothy sputum. And that also could be a warning sign of congestive heart failure. Oh, and remember at the beginning of this video when I asked if you have to be propped up on a bunch of pillows to sleep at night or if you actually have to sit up in a chair in order to breathe at night? Well, if this is the case, then you may have orthopnea, which could also be an indication of congestive heart failure. Orthopnea is when you have difficulty lying down at night because the fluid in your body pools into the lungs causing you to be congested and you cannot breathe well when you're lying flat. So what do you do? You prop yourself up or you sit up and so that that fluid can pool to other parts of your body and not be congested in the lungs. Orthopnea can certainly be a warning symptom of congestive heart failure. So now I'll give an overview of the diagnosis and the treatment for congestive heart failure. In order to be diagnosed, you must consult your physician or your heart doctor, your cardiologist and your physician will give you a thorough history and physical, and they may also run some lab tests and do some imaging studies. So they can diagnose you by finding some of the signs on your physical exam that we talked about, like the crackles or the JVD, jugular venous distension. They may also do a chest X-ray and find that you have pulmonary edema. They can do lab work like a BNP or brain natriuretic peptide or an NT probe BNP, and in terminal pro BNP as another test for congestive heart failure. They can also do a stress test or a heart catheterization, a cardiac cath, and most certainly an EKG or an ECG to see if you have signs of congestive heart failure. So certainly if you suspect that you may have congestive heart failure or that a loved one may have it, please don't hesitate, consult your physician. So what are the treatments for congestive heart failure? Well, depending on the type of heart failure you have, heart failure with reduced ejection fraction, heart failure with preserved ejection fraction, then your treatment may vary. Also, it depends on the severity and the underlying cause of your heart failure. But in general, some treatments include diuretics or water pills, also certain medications such as ACE inhibitors, angiotensin receptor blockers, nitrates, hydralazine, spironolactone. You may require procedures such as 
pacemakers or defibrillators, or you may even need a VAD or a ventricular assist device. And certainly lifestyle will play a role in your treatment. Your physician may ask that you reduce the amount of fluid you take in each day, a fluid restriction, and they will very likely suggest that you have a low sodium diet, a low salt intake. Oh, and some patients with severe heart failure may actually require a heart transplant. If you found this overview on congestive heart failure to be helpful and informative, please be sure to like it and to share it with the people you care about. And if you have not done so already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that notification button. That way you'll be among the first to know when I'm releasing new medical content. Also, follow me on Instagram at Dr.Frida just to see what I'm up to in my everyday life. I thank you for watching. I appreciate you for watching. And please do your best to live your healthiest, happiest life. I'm Dr. Frida.